if you have been here before, you've seen my PC. And I'm going to talk about my experience building it because along the way, I definitely made some mistakes. So I'm going to go through the story here. And then at, after that, I want to just kind of pick apart and just kind of see the things that I did wrong that I wish I did better or that I didn't do at all. And hopefully I've learned from this experience and hopefully you can take away from this, this experience as well. So this story begins back in the summer of 2019. I believe it was the end of May, beginning of June, somewhere in there at the beginning of the summer. And I just felt like it was time to upgrade. I had my old PC, it was a Core i5 uh, on some MSI motherboard. It had 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, I was running with my 1070, and it had been running strong for quite a while. I actually really loved that computer. It worked great for my needs. However, I just felt like it was time for a little upgrade. And I was feeling a bit bored, I'm sure as many being at home during this whole pandemic and just wanting to tinker a little bit. So after getting wrapped up in the hype of building a new computer, I kind of just went out willy nilly, went to the computer store and just picked out a few parts without really doing a lot of research. The first thing I got was a 3700X, the AMD Ryzen 7. And I did get a pretty good deal on that. I'm very happy about that. I also got some RAM. It was a 32 gigabyte of Corsair Vengeance RAM and a motherboard. And considering the pandemic, I didn't really have a chance to do any shopping around with that. They didn't even have anything really available. There was some really high-end ROG stuff from Asus that was really expensive, but this was pretty much the only board I could find, which is a B450M. It was a micro ATX from ASRock. The next thing I decided to do was get a new case a few weeks later, and I decided on the Fractal Define R7. And the reason I got that was because I was switching from this honking case that I had before. This NZXT case that I had was a full tower, absolutely massive in the middle of my living room, just taking up space. So I decided on a smaller case, figuring, hey, I don't really do much with this computer. I game with it for the most part. I don't need that much storage. I'm not gonna need hard drives. Who needs hard drives anyways? I got an M.2 drive and an AM4 retention bracket for my old cooler. Now, after having this new case for a bit, I had a glass side panel. This is not something I was used to. So I kind of decided, hey, we need a little bit more RGB in there. So what I ended up doing was buying a new cooler, the Kraken from NZXT, which has this beautiful infinity mirror effect. And while I was at it, I ended up getting a new motherboard. Why? Well, I decided, well, <laughs> I got a new case that was smaller with this new small motherboard. Why not put a regular ATX motherboard in there? It doesn't make any sense. And the last thing I ended up getting was new RAM from G-Skill. It's the Trident Z Neo, 32 gigabytes of that, and of course, with RGB. And that lands us to now, which is essentially how my PC has been for the past several months, save the current AMD cooler that's in my system, just because I wanna test it out and see how it runs for the next few weeks. All right, so there's a few mistakes in there, and I think some of them are more obvious than others. And there's four of them that I really wanna talk about. And the first one is going to be, don't get wrapped up in the hype. It's exactly what happened to me. I got really excited about building a new computer that I didn't really take the time, step back, do research, and really figure out what I wanted, to really let it sink in, find new parts. Because it's very often that you'll go ahead and buy something, and you know, a few weeks later, you'll find something that you definitely think would work better for you or you like better, the aesthetics or whatever it is, you end up regretting your purchase, which is something you don't wanna do. And it's something that happened to me. You can see it throughout when I, this story that I told, the main ones being the motherboard and the RAM, because those are two things I bought twice. Now, luckily for me, I was able to resell those parts to a friend because they were building a computer. So it, it wasn't, I lost some money, obviously but it wasn't an absolute loss. But the thing I've definitely learned from that is that I need to wait a bit. I need to not impulse buy. All right, and number two is don't settle. Much like the first one, I went to a PC store and also wrapped up in the hype, I settled for something that I didn't really want. And that was the motherboard. You know, I should have gotten an ATX motherboard. I had this huge honking tower and I put a micro ATX in there. It just looks, it looks ridiculous. If there's something you want and they don't have it, don't just buy something because you're there and you have money burning a hole in your pocket. Just wait a while for it to get in stock. Get the thing you want. Number three is don't put off future expandability. This is something that we can all share in as PC builders. It's a really fun thing to do is that you have opportunity to upgrade and expand your components as you go and as you need. Now, in my case, I thought, hey, the only thing I'd like to do in the future is perhaps add some more storage, like a new M.2 drive, or maybe 
or maybe an SSD that I can stick on the back of my case. I never expected to need any hard drives. Well, lo and behold, a few months later when I started this YouTube channel, and certainly now, my storage needs are growing exponentially. And I now find myself in the position that I'm gonna be building like some kind of server or NAS so that I actually have the storage I need for all the videos that I'm creating, rather than just putting some redundant storage like I could have in my old tower. And number four, do as I say, not as I do, is don't overspend. Now, personally, you can definitely see where I overspent, and that was on the motherboard. The motherboard that I ended up with had to be almost three or four times the cost as the original motherboard that I had. And there are definitely creature comforts on the newer motherboard that I appreciate is it worth that much more? Is it giving me any more performance? No, no. In fact, when I tested my PC after I rebuilt it with the new motherboard, the benchmarking scores I got were almost completely identical. So while we're on the topic of overspending, I'd like to share a story that I've talked about previously on a video I did way back when, and it's about a friend I have, and I know he doesn't watch my videos, and I know he's not gonna watch this one, but hey, you know who you are. If you're watching this, you tell me, I'll give you $10 if you can point out this point in this video. Anyways. Great friend of mine, I love the guy, but he's notorious for overspending on the stuff he buys, especially when it comes to his PC. For example, way back when eight gigabytes was plenty for a gaming PC, he went ahead and bought 32 gigabytes. He recently bought a 1200 watt power supply when, hey, 850 would be over what he would need for a power supply. He plans on buying a 5900X as a CPU when a 5600X, even a 3600X, would do him just fine. And I know I'm also guilty of this, but the takeaway is just don't go crazy. Don't overspend, there's no need. You're not gonna see the performance differences. And if you do, they're gonna be very small in many cases. So do your research, watch out for compatibility. And at the same time, don't spend too little. Don't be too cheap. Get yourself the parts that you need that are gonna do the job that you want to get done. Don't get wrapped up in the hype. Don't settle for stuff when other things that you actually want are not available. Don't put off future expandability and don't overspend. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. I feel like it's gone terribly. Hopefully I can salvage this in the edit and I hope you actually enjoyed it. Um, anyways, I got a podcast on the way. It'll be probably out in, I'd say two weeks. So stay tuned for that. My name is Nick. This has been Tech Illiterate. Thank you for watching. So today, <clears throat> So today I want to share the mistakes I've made. So today I want to share the mistakes I've made when buying PC. So today I want to. So today I want to share the mistakes I've made while building a PC. <laughs> so today I want to share the mistakes I've made while building a PC. PC. <laughs> so today I want to share the mistakes I've made while building. What's wrong with me?